Welcome back to Detroit Skating Club for our broadcast of Lake Orion Varsity Hockey. I'm Craig Stockwell and I'll be bringing you all the action again tonight. And boy, we've got an exciting matchup tonight. Um, when you look at the state rankings, uh, the Lake Orion Dragons sitting at 14-2-1, ranked eighth in Division I in the state of Michigan, uh, going up against crosstown rival uh, Clarkston Wolves at 10-5-1 and, and ranked 11th in the, in the state in Division I. Well, when it comes to rankings and it comes to records, you can throw them all out when it comes to rivalry games because at the, at the end of the day, what, what happens on the ice is what's going to determine the outcome. So with that said, uh, one of the things that a lot of coaches and, and a lot of uh, hockey experts will, will talk about is a race to three in the game of hockey, and that's three goals. And if you look at the season so far for the Lake Orion Dragons, when they've scored three goals, they've won all 14 times. They're 14-0 and 0 when scoring uh, three tallies, and, um, and that's, uh, that's a pretty telling statistic. Um, for tonight, the, some of the keys for uh, the Lake Orion Dragons will be to get pucks to the net. Both, both Clarkston starting goalies are, uh, have a goals against average near three and a half. Uh, they've faced a 455 shots on goal so far in 16 games this season, which is upwards of 28 shots a game. So they're seeing a lot of rubber. Um, conversely, the Lake Orion goalies have faced uh, 423 shots in only in 17 games. And that's about just under 25 shots per game average. When you factor in Logan Aldridge, the starting goaltender for Lake Orion's save percentage at 927, you can see that that is a recipe for success for the Dragons. Well, as of late, uh, the Clarkston squad has been struggling a bit. Um, they're coming off of two straight losses, uh, dominated by Kanoa Hills uh, in the Grand Rapids area, 6-2. Uh, last weekend, and then again uh, just this Thursday night in a very important OAA red matchup against rival Rochester Stony Creek, uh, losing that game 8-4. to four. Uh, Lake Orion, in the meantime, in their last four games is 3-0-1 and, one and uh, have looked very sharp in a hard-fought 2-2 tie last night at number three ranked Rochester United. So for tonight on tap for the Dragons is an opportunity to clinch at least a share of the OAA division or Red Division uh, championship. Folks, uh, stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back with live game action, starting lineups, and uh, we're fired up to get this thing uh, faced off here at the Detroit Skating Club. So stay tuned and we will be right back. We're here at Galling Buick GMC. Early drop-off point for the 5 or 5 food drive. Put your pedal to metal and drop off before February 8th. Hello, I'm Mike Bouchard, the Oakland County Sheriff. There's a big problem that faces all the communities in America today, and that's abuse of legitimate prescription drugs. Sometimes they're left in the home when a loved one passes away, or they're in the medicine cabinet for someone else, and a youngster in the home steals it and they abuse it. It's one of the fastest growing drug abuses that we see in our community and across the country. Secondly, we see these drugs oftentimes when they're no longer utilized being flushed down the drain and we're seeing higher levels of residual pharmaceuticals in our waterways and our streams. So to solve two problems with one effort, we partnered with Home Instead Senior Care to start a program called Operation Medicine Cap to get those drugs out of the homes, out of the hands of youngsters and out of the waterway and safely and environmentally destroy them. Learn more about the program at OperationMedicineCabinetMI.com and be part of the solution. Thank you. Well, we are back at Detroit Skating Club, uh, ready for the starting lineups, and we'll follow the lead of the public address announcer. But starting for Lake Orion, number 12 at forward, Alex Gaiwa. Also at defense, Number 15, the captain, Jordan Strauss. Starting at forward, number 16, Ryan Sidlowski. Starting at center, number 18, Drew Casey. And starting on defense, number 19, Zach Line. 
And between the pipes in the cage, number 30, the senior, Logan Aldridge. For Clarkston, we'll be ahead of the public address announcer here. Uh, starting number eight. Let's see what let's see what order they go in here, Craig. Absolutely. Garrett Polish, the center. Number eight. Number 10, Austin Fulmer, a defenseman. Number 11, Chase Wiedemann, captain and a forward. Number 16, Sean Cotter, defenseman, also a captain. And number 21, Jacob Laporte, a forward and a captain. And in goal, number 30, Nick Surovec is in net for the Clarkston Wolves tonight. And like Keith Jackson used to say, yes, indeedy, duty. <laughs> this is how you do it. It's a packed house at DSC, and we're looking forward to some incredible and exciting hockey action here tonight, Larry. Yeah, it's a packed house, Craig. We've seen it a little more packed for this rivalry, but we'll take it tonight. It looks like almost a 50-50 split down the middle for the fans, a little more administration for the Dragons, a little more coaching, other teams that are here for the Dragons, but then again, we don't know what the Clarkston other sport coaches look like. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Larry, and we are about to drop the puck, and we're looking forward to uh, witnessing that race to three that we talked about earlier, and the Dragons win the faceoff. Uh, Mr. Strauss up ahead to Ryan Sidlowski down in the corner, and out the other side, uh, Zach Lyon holds it in for the Dragons, and uh, Alex Guy will in chase. Now out, uh, Weedman throws it to the center ice. Oh, and a giveaway right up the middle. 21 comes in hard, and Logan Aldridge equal to the task, making a big save on the opening uh, series here for the Dragons. Uh, boy, it's nice to get your goalie involved early as long as he can come up with that kind of save. Yeah, there you go, it's, and it was a nice save with the, with the low glove. Uh, giveaway by number, line, by number 19, Zach Line. Went to the regroup pass and didn't pass it to his guy, passed it to the wrong color. Craig, here we go again, more action. And I would say an uncharacteristic pass, but we'll get past that and move on and uh, continue to build from here for the Dragons. And uh, Clarkson's able to control down deep as Greeb tries it the other way, and he doesn't have any help over on the right side. Cycling down low for Clarkston. Uh, Depry tries to come away in 23 for Clarkston. Uh, pressures the puck and is able to keep it in. Now Depry makes a nice move and gets it up ahead to Jake Brisky. Fans on the pass, but keeps battling away, and they're able to clear the zone. And we got a penalty call uh, coming up. A uh, little cross check, and it looks like uh, number 23 uh, for Clarkston. Number 23 for Clarkston. That is Drake Gentile. Drake Gentile. Drake Gentile. We'll always take that guy off you guys, won't we, Craig? Yeah, he won't score. His 14th goal from the penalty box. Absolutely not. But here we go. That uh, was a little marginal call, in my opinion, this early in a big match like this. Um, that would be some tight calling if they call the game like that tonight, Craig. You got some of these refs. They like to take control early. They don't want uh, these rivalry games to get out of control, I guess. But I think that's one of the things that we didn't really talk about beforehand that I think is important is uh, controlling that emotion in a game like this. Uh, you want to stay high. You want to... You want to play on the edge, but at the same time, you gotta you got to stay level and not get uh, too ahead of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You said that uh, very eloquently, and I think that here we go on the power play with Sidlowski in control. Let's see how we go here, Craig. Sidlowski with the puck over the line. He can't handle it just out of his reach, but he settles it. Back to Strauss, and it gets uh, knocked away by Clarkston. Here they come on a kind of a two-on-one over, and, uh, boy, Strauss just was able to, to disturb the uh, – shooter there to, to negate a scoring chance. Yeah, nice poke check by Strauss there in a two, on a two-on-one as uh, Strauss was uh, outskated all the way down. Loose puck in front. Master shoots! Oh, and it's off the pipe! Oh, my oh. goodness! Right through the goal mouth, and the Clarkston defender somehow clears that away before it goes into the net. That looks like that possibly hit the crossbar, and then he hit the post, Craig. It was an unbelievable play by uh, Guywa there, and luck of the puck luck for Clarkston. Here comes uh, Mark Kirshner carrying it in. He loses his stick, and uh, the Dragons defender cannot keep it in. And here they come, three on one. Oh, we got an offsides. My goodness. And I didn't see that offsides, wow. Craig. That is amazing. They had a three on one, 
coming right down the throat of the Dragons. And, uh, boy, the, the good old blue line, the defenseman's best friend, uh, came to save the day. And that ends, that was a clear-cut three-on-one with uh, Josh Grieb, the only d Dragon back, and no back checker within sight, Craig. Now you got Kirshner centering uh, Stockwell and Defaw. On a power play here, though, Craig, remember oh, that. Oh, it is the power play. I'm sorry. So this is the, I'm sorry, the second uh, power play unit with Mesta at the point. With, along with Mr. Grieb, number seven. Got 48 seconds left in the power play, and the Dragons are going to look to set up something here, uh, some puck possession, and uh, hopefully get some good scoring chances here on the, power, the last 30 seconds of this power play. Stockwell holds it in deep. Now over to Kirshner. He brings it back to the point to Grieb. And why is he out of the box? There's 29 seconds still on the clock. Unless they had some clock issues, Craig, which I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess the clock's not the official scorekeeper. No, not um, tonight, I guess. Uh, apparently, they didn't have the uh, penalty clock uh, in sync with the game clock, and the, the penalties expired. Uh, Clarkson's back at full strength. And, uh, boy, it just wouldn't be a Clarkson Lake Orion game without some kind of goofiness. Yeah, and I, you know, the, these uh, hired hands by Clarkson um, always seem to have clock issues. They've been doing this for, geez, I think the guy had black hair when he started doing this and it's still the same clock operators, and I can't believe they got this wrong. Well, I have a feeling, Larry, he might have been working with an abacus when he first started keeping score. You can't <laughs> spell abacus, though, Craig. <laughs> yeah, Ben Bach on the, on the blue line along with uh, Gronowski for the Dragons. Boy, uh, Clarkston looks to have a bit of a jump in their step. I think they're really looking to, to make a statement here tonight, Larry. They're, they're taking it to the Dragons uh, early here. Yeah, it looks like the Dragons are playing a little bit of panic hockey right now on their heels. Not comfortable yet with their game. They had a big emotional game last night, so it might take them a little while to get to get their feet underneath them, Craig. Absolutely, and I'll tell you, I was at that game last night, Larry, and uh, it, was a, it, it was a very, very uh, um, high emotion, um, high energy game, and uh, back and forth action, very competitive. Uh, so certainly we'll be looking to see how the Dragons respond here uh, emotionally in this game. Number 11, Weidman with the puck over to number 80, shoots, blocked in front by a slew of Dragons, kicked into the corner by Mr. Aldrich, and cleared, and somehow uh, Sidlowski gets helped to the ice, but they're not going to call that interference. Yeah, that was long after he uh, disposed of the puck out of the Dragon zone too, Craig. And uh, the Dragons shoot the puck out of the playing surface uh, through the bench area. So we'll have a face-off just inside the Dragons zone. You know, back it looks to, like they're going to go all the way down to the face-off dot. You know, back to that uh, scoring play at the beginning of the power play. I didn't hear, the, I didn't hear any, uh, any iron on that first shot by a guy. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it went in the back of the net and came right back out. I guess we'll have to ask some of the fans that are behind the net. I think that was uh, Connor Mesta that took that shot. Okay. Um, but uh, that's what I thought. I, I mean, I, I thought it was a goal when he shot it. Yeah, it came, <laughs> it came back soft. It didn't make any noise. I was very surprised it wasn't a goal. But we'll have to ask the guys behind the net. I think we might know one of them down there. That might be Mr. Sidlowski. So we'll get some real honest, unbiased opinions from Jim. He wasn't jumping up and down and screaming, though. <laughs> that would be out of character for him anyway. <laughs> Zach Lyon tries to move it ahead off the faceoff, and it exits the playing surface again over the glass. So we're going to do it all over again, just right of uh, Logan Aldrich, uh, the netminder for, for the Dragons. And uh, I believe that's Mark Kirshner taking the faceoff. Uh, wins it over to Strauss, back around to the weak side. And uh, Mr. Nesta moves it ahead to Kirshner, and it's just thrown out to the neutral zone where Clarkson's going to take control. And they just throw it back in deep with the Dragons coming out to try to break out. But uh, there's nobody home on the short side. Puck to, to the middle over to the left defenseman. And down in deep for Clarkston. Now Strauss ahead to Mesta, ahead to Chappie through the neutral zone. Gains the offensive zone, shoots up into the netting, and we'll have another offensive faceoff here for the Dragons. Yeah, it was a good play by Chappie, putting the puck on the net, got deflected high. 
I did notice number seven of Clarkson is very big defenseman. Um, Eric Matinowski seems like a real smooth skater. Seems like one of their, I mean, I haven't seen much of Clarkson, but he seems like he really knows what's going on out there, Craig. He might be a guy to watch, number seven for Clarkson on the blue line. Fantastic. Here comes Clarkson after uh, Lake Orion won the faceoff and almost got a nice little scoring chance there, but uh, uh, couldn't quite control. And look at Mr. DeFaw go after that puck, and it's going to be an icing. Well, I know I say it a lot, but I uh, really enjoy watching number 24 play. The, the kid hustles his butt off, and uh, he's not afraid to play in the tough ice. And uh, you got to have guys like that on your hockey team. Now, every time I've seen him, he's just taking a tremendous beating in front of the net, and he just keeps on going. He's like the Energizer Bunny out there for the Dragons. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you got uh, Josh Gould taking the face off for the Dragons, and he wins it back into the corner to Pry over to uh, DeFaw. Kicks it ahead to Gould, up ahead to Stockwell. Stockwell through the neutral zone, gains the zone and drops it in deep into the corner, goes after it. Number 10 and 9, 10, and 11 come together here, uh, two of those for the Dragons. And uh, Clarkson's going to try the other side. Looks like they're going to be able to break out here as the Dragons try to regroup defensively. Looks like an offsides. Uh, they got away with an offsides there, Larry. Well, it was pretty close, Craig, but uh, referee was right there. We'll have to go with the ref on that one. Once again, uh, down and deep for Clarkston. They're certainly playing with a lot of energy tonight, Larry. Yeah, Clarkston's got uh, a little more jump in their step than the Dragons. Dragons number one line back out there, and we'll see what happens. We're going to throw it in deep. I don't know if this is going to be their game plan tonight or not, but we've seen quite a bit of the dump and chase uh, methodology here out of the Dragons so far. Well, it could be the game plan, see how the game, full, see how the game transpires as far as the way Clarkston's playing their, their defensive scheme as well. Sidlowski to Gaiwa. Gaiwa can't quite uh, corral it. 19 comes out, and the Dragons defenseman Bach blows a the tire. And we got a trip on the uh, number 19 of the Wolves here. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, the Dragons are going to have to capitalize on, uh, on one of these power plays because you know how this thing goes. Uh, Clarkson's... You know they're going to get uh, they're going to get their share of calls as well in this game. Absolutely, and you got 19 Hogarth going to the box for what I consider a pretty weak uh, tripping penalty on him. But Dragons will take every opportunity they get here, Craig. I got to be honest. I thought he tripped on the blue line. <laughs> well, that's why I said it was a pretty weak call. But we'll we'll, we'll take your. Uh, so word I'm looking for your description's a little more uh, eloquent than mine. <laughs> Casey back to Strauss, back to Casey. Over the line, shot. Nobody in front of the net there, side. Craig. Yeah, that's not going to work. you got to have some traffic in front. Now, the forward's got to rotate with the puck movement to the side of the net the shot's going to come from, and the Dragons did not do that in that particular instance. Jordan Strauss setting up, bringing it out for the Dragons up ahead to Sidlowski on the near side. Sidlowski looking for his options, and he really doesn't see much, so he takes it into the corner. And uh, Strauss is going to step in, try to hold it in, but he misses the puck. I think he was anticipating contact there, uh, Larry. Oh, and here's 21. He's in all alone, and he scores. Look at that. Boy, I'll tell you, sloppy defense by the Dragons' top line. Uh, that You can't call that anything other than a defensive breakdown, Larry. No, that's what a defensive breakdown. It was uh, you pinch in to get the puck, and then Zach Line went for the body, didn't take him down, lost his stride. And in he went. Aldridge went for the poke check. To no avail, he just fired into an empty net. one nothing. Clarkston. Quite honestly, it's 5-1 five, it's five to one shots on goal for Clarkston. And Dragons have had two power plays. And the goal by number 21, uh, Jacob Laporte for Clarkston. Well, if uh, history has anything to say about it, Larry, uh, Clarkston scored the first goal in the last time these two teams met. So maybe it's not that bad of a thing. Uh, we'll see how the Dragons respond. Well, the Dragons have given up three quality scoring chances sh on the power play tonight, Craig. So three shorthanded chances for Clarkson. One ends up in the net. Uh, this is not the defensive game plan the Dragons were looking for, let alone the offensive game plan as well. Well, and I'll tell you, I mean, these, these kids, are they're trying to make all the plays, uh, absolutely, and they're making good decisions. But when you pinch like that in the, in the offensive zone on a power play, you have got to... Um, Get you got to come away with the puck, or you at least have to neutralize the guy that you're pinching on. 
And that didn't happen on that play. No, none of it happened. And and, uh, and Zach Line made a poor decision playing the body there without taking him down. So it was more or less a one-on-one -on -one against the goalie and a good play. Stockwell up to the point to Grebe. Grebe tries it but uh, gets blocked. Stockwell now regroups with the puck. Down in deep for Kirshner. Back to Stockwell. Right back to Kirshner. He tries to cut to the middle. Nothing doing. And Kirshner can't quite control, but Stockwell's able to win a battle, get it back to Grebe. Back in deep. Defaw gets the puck over to Stockwell, but he can't handle it. The Clarkson defender is able to clear. Grebe tries it back in, and the delayed offsides here on the Dragons, they're going to make a change. We certainly want to see the next 7.22 left here in the period. Um, not just some life out of the Dragons, but some uh, some sense of organization in the way they're playing. Uh, right now they seem to be a little bit off their game and uh, kind of reacting a little bit too much to what Clarkston's bringing on to them. It's, uh, they're watching the puck instead of going for the puck. And they're not making smart passes and they're not, uh, they're just not doing anything I guess so, I don't know how to exactly say it, to, with a sense of urgency possibly, Craig. Yeah, I think that's a good way to describe it, Larry, absolutely. Um, Casey taking the face off and Clarkston wins the draw. Number eight with a shot. Good save by Logan Aldridge and he's been, he's been pretty sharp and he's needed to be sharp. Uh, uh, Clarkston is definitely getting the, uh, Lion's share of the opportunities here. Uh, they're winning the face-offs, they're winning the battles, and now a face-off win for the Dragons. And they don't seem much, they don't seem any faster, they don't seem any more skilled. It just seems like they seem to have more of an idea what they want to do tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Number 11, Weidman with the puck, shoots and he scores. And that, uh, boy, that's a weak goal there, I think. That's a weak goal. Aldridge was screened by the defenseman. But he wasn't out of the net. He wasn't square to the position. And it snuck between his pad and his uh, paddle of his stick. That's a goal that you, you can't allow in a situation like this. Right now, shots on goal, Craig, are 7-1 for Clarkston. And I don't see anything telling me that it's going to switch around unless the Dragons figure out uh, what uh, they want to do tonight. No, not at all, Larry. It's a 2-0 it's game, 6.57 left in the first period. And the Dragons really need to... Uh, Need to kind of get uh, get control of this uh, this mojo here. Uh, they're certainly not doing well on that race to three as of uh, right now. No, absolutely not. Brisky with the puck down deep. Tries to the point, but he's not open. It's a dangerous pass there. That's a breakout pass. Uh, and there's one they and there's one they let go. So I guess that was a. Could have been called an interference or not. There we go. There's a nice play. Over to Mesta. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Clarkson's coming out of their zone quick. They uh, sure are, Craig. Break out fast. I think uh, they want to put pressure on this uh, Dragons defense. We got another penalty coming up on Clarkson. Elbow to the face of Brisky here, Craig. And the Dragons ice the puck, which is. It was an attempt to at stretch pass. It was uh, inadvertent, uh, just a bad pass. Trying to set, make something happen there with a long stretch pass. Definitely an elbow here on number 12 for the for the Clarkston Wolves. And some of the uh, Carter B. Carter B. Some of the ice time. Uh, That'd be Carter uh, Carter Ray. Sorry some about that. Some of the that. ice time uh, check writers are uh, a little upset here for Clarkston. <laughs> yeah, you can hear that in their voice, can't you? <laughs> You know, but certain calls have to be made. Um, Zach Line kind of got away with interference. And, uh, but, you know, but then that was definitely an elbow to his head coming through the zone. And, and I mean, that's a that's an injury call. You got to make that call in my in my mind. Shot just wide of the net by Line. Uh, Straw steps in, can't control. And Clarkson's going to send it down the length of the ice. But, uh, you know, the ref also knows that he missed one down uh, down in the defensive zone for the Dragons where Line got clearly tripped. Um, maybe missed it, maybe let it go, but either way he couldn't let two in a row go. There's another interference call by the uh, Clarkson. They did not they did not get Sidlowski got drilled by the big fella. 
I don't know what I don't know what his name is, but he is a big boy, number six for the Wolves. Strauss with the drive just wide of the net, steered aside by the Clarkson goaltender. And I think the you know the Dragons want to get pucks to the net. Uh, I don't think that uh, this only, Clarkson team has had great goaltending. They've only hit the net now twice. A nice scoring chance for Sidlowski, but uh, the shots from the point, Craig, haven't hit the net. That's part of their problem. Yeah, it's a good little give and go there, and they did have a good scoring opportunity. And now you got 49 seconds left in the power play, and that second uh, power play unit's going to be out here for the Dragons. You've got uh, Defoe and Stockwell with uh, Kirshner with Mesta and Grieve on the back end. Stockwell gets dumped, puck comes around near far side. Mesta steps in, quick shot, knocked down in front. Kirshner with the puck, regroups, back to Mesta, over to Kirshner. Tries the shot but gets blocked into the skates of number seven for Clarkston. Stockwell helping out Kirshner in the corner, trying to dig it loose. Stockwell and he does. comes out with the puck behind the net. Looks, looks for, sends it back to the point to Grebe. Back in for Stockwell. Kind of a bit of a blind pass down. Cycles it down into the corner for Kirshner. Back down in for Stockwell. 10 seconds left in the power play for the Dragons. Five seconds. And that's going to just about do it. Shot to the net, gets knocked down. Kind of hit, looked like a shot hit Kirshner. He was cutting to the net. Backhand try, good scoring chance for Clarkston and uh, Logan Aldrich is equal to the task, able to cover up for the Dragons and Coach Field can get out uh, the next line that he wants to get, a full unit back out there and some fresh legs. Well, the referees have done everything in their power to help the Dragons get back into this game. They got uh, three power plays to the to Clarkston zero. It's two nothing for the Wolves. We got a, uh, Coach Field's gonna have some uh, chalkboard work to do in between periods here, Craig. Absolutely. Uh, definitely uh, not sure if the if the Dragons were expecting to waltz through this one. I don't understand why they would think that way. Big rivalry game. Uh, Clarkson always plays them tough, and uh, they came to play tonight. Well, they use their sticks a lot, Larry, so I can see why they get penalties. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going on. And... Wow, another elbow. Another no elbow and a hold. There's a cross check by the Dragons with no call. Cross check. Now number three is throwing punches in the corner. It's and funny how fans only see the one side of what's actually happening out there. Yeah, and we're pretty good at it. You know, as we said, a <laughs> little bit of elbow, a little bit of cross check by Clarkson, a cross check back by Orion. So by you could have called two penalties there if you really wanted yeah, to, Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was a cross check by Guywa, but he just had enough. Uh, you're only going to take so many elbows and and uh, punches uh, to the face um, before you do something. Oh, and there's another elbow by number 12. And another flat tire on a on a Dragons defenseman. Well, I think that skate sharpener and uh, Coach Norrington may get a little work here in between periods, Craig. Absolutely. Dragons move it ahead. Mesta up the near side. Can't handle it. Back to the wall, and Depry is going to hold it in. Nice job at the blue line by uh, Nick Depry. I cannot see what's happening in the corner. There's a wall of angry Clarkston fans in front of me. Yeah, well, and they're not happy at all. I think they'd be a little happier with a 2 nothing lead, but. Nah, they're never content. They know what happened in, at uh, Comerica Park, Craig. Absolutely, 2-10 to play here in the first period, and the Dragons are looking for something positive. Maybe if they can get a goal before this thing expires, They'll have some momentum to uh, build on, at least uh, have a couple of strong shifts here to finish the period. Well, let's see how Clarkson getting ready to break out. Number eight with the puck, throws it in on goal. Steered aside by Aldrich, up ahead, up the far side. The Dragons are not controlling the puck well in this game so far. Now they're tossing it around, they're giving it to the wrong guy. Here's a giveaway. A giveaway right in front. 11, Weedman throws it in deep, number 21 with the puck, circles around, gives it up, you know, comes out the near side, Chappie ahead to Stockwell, it's in his feet, 
He's able to regroup. Quick shot, just wide of the net. It's coming out the other side. Play some body like here, boys. Get a rebound on that and get that thing on net. Number six carries it in for the Wolves on net. And Aldrich is able to, after kicking a huge rebound out, out to the, the, out blue, to the blue, line, blue line, he uh, gets over and makes the next save. And uh, well, I'll tell you, Logan Aldrich uh, might be the MVP so far in this game for the Dragons because without stellar goaltending, this could be this could be really ugly uh, here in the first period. Yeah, it's already 2-0. He did allow one soft one, but he's made some phenomenal saves. And here we go with another save, Craig. And this drive-by stuff going on by the Dragons, not playing the body, reaching for the puck is going to cost them another goal or two if they're not careful, Craig. Trying to get out of their own end. Um, looks like a lot of standing around here by the Dragons and walks right in, he scores. Well, My goodness, number 12. Wow, there's, there, there is, there's absolutely, uh, watching that play, Craig, you had a forward just turn away from the Clarkston player. He was right with him. He turned away in the middle of the ice to go back to his position on the boards. There was a defenseman nearby. That was what. That, that was just a bad defensive play all around. Aldridge was down, went over his uh, glove side shoulders. Three nothing, Clarkston. Shots on goal is almost embarrassing. I don't even want to say it. I'll number, wait till the number, end of the period. Number twelve, Carter Ray walks right to the middle, goes right around the the Dragons players, and I didn't see anyone step up to try to make a play for the Dragons. They stepped away, that, Craig. That line has been very porous in the defensive zone in this game and in part of the season, and they really need to shore that up. Oh, we have an update from East Lansing uh, in the second half, 3.39 to go in the game. It's all knotted up. You've got uh, MSU 60, U of M 60. Well, look at the bright Coming side. Right down to the MSU's only got half their team playing because they're excited and they pound on a table and break a hand. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, and Joel Zamaya had a box fall on him too. <laughs> oh boy, and here's another chance for Clarkston. Quick shot and a save by Aldridge. You look over on this dragon bench, Craig, you see uh, Coach Fields got his hands in his pockets. I don't think he knows what hit his team tonight. And uh, he's got some work to do. There's a lot of hockey left here. Yeah, but Just, uh, just inside eight seconds here in the period. Uh, important faceoff. We're going to give that one a shot on goal, Craig. Five seconds now. We're going to do it all over again in the same spot. Well, this is where they need to, the captains need to step up, and they need to they need to uh, put some fire in the black dragons here wearing these black jerseys. This is a big night for them, and they're letting the black jersey uh, tradition fail right now, Craig. Well, there you go, Larry. I'll tell you, you can see, you can hear if you're if you've got your uh, Dolby surround sound system going at home, you can hear all the cheering coming from the left side of the arena where we sit. Uh, it's 3-0 Clarkston early in the game. The race to three is already over. The Dragons are going to have to improvise to get back in this hockey game. But we're, uh, we're optimistic, so stay tuned and come right back. Uh, the shots are just as ugly as the score. It's 15-3 Clarkston and shots on goal. And uh, the Dragons really need to figure this thing out and uh, build on some positive news here in the second period. So uh, with that said, uh, end of one. Uh, the, the score, Clarkston uh, Wolves 3 and uh, the Lake Orion Dragons nothing. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back with second period action. Can't make it to the 5 or 5 food drive? Drop off early at Hollywood Markets. Accepting canned goods and non-perishables. Hey, this is Mickey York from Fox Sports Detroit. When I want to get the inside scoop on local sports, I watch between Terminus or Fox Sports Detroit. All right, we're back back at DSC for second period action. Uh, Faceoff won by the Dragons. One of the few things they've won tonight. Uh, it's 3 nothing. <laughs> That's good uh, one, Craig. Good one. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. 3 nothing. Clarkston and another shot on goal. Uh, they might get to 50 before uh, the Dragons break uh, double digits if they don't start turning this thing around. Well, I was uh, in between periods talking with the dads, and he said, I know this sounds like an excuse, but they're emotionally spent from last night. And I told him, if you can't get up emotionally for the Clarkston game, you can't get up for any game, Craig. So 
let's see what happened between periods with Coach Field and the club and the captains, and hopefully a little better effort. One goal at a time, Craig, the old uh, the old cliche, Absolutely. get them back one at a time. I'd have to say uh, the reason it sounded like, it is, uh, like an excuse is it was. And two humongous saves by Aldridge there. And an icing by the Dragons, and it looks like uh, – Strauss is shaken up on the play. Uh, number 15, the captain for, for the Dragons. Uh, after he got number eight's 250 pounds off of him, uh, he's shaking off the cobwebs. He is a big fella. I would have to say Kyle Rosen-esque on skates. <laughs> well, you got Kirshner coming out to take the draw for the Dragons. and uh, Six is too many. I don't see six the, out there. No, there's five out there. We, Oh, they're not going to let this change happen, are they? That's surprising. Wow. Horrible. I don't think uh, the Clarkson coach is going to complain too much right now. Yeah, well, that's a play, Craig. You got if you got right a last change, you shouldn't. The referee shouldn't allow that change. No. Bach up the near side, and there's nobody there for the Dragons. But, Here we go. Uh, fortunately, Kirshner's able to come out with it up through the middle. Oh, a nice cross check. Uh, he got two for the price of one there, number 12. Long after the no play call. was, long after the puck was behind the net as well. Well, they, Clarkson certainly come out with an aggressive style and they're willing to take some penalties to send a message and it's worked so far. Kircher needs to put a little more body on him than just a little shove along the boards there, Craig. Needs some more intensity out of number 23. You know, he tries to take a run at number nine, but just kind of bounces off there. Um, battle along the boards, and the puck's just lying there, waiting for someone to take it. Now it comes uh, number seven, Grebe, over to six, Bach. Moves it ahead, tries for Stockwell just out of his reach. Oh, De DeFoss steps in, backhand shot. Oh, and Stockwell just misses on a rebound. My goodness, close, good opportunity. Uh, Hard-working line, uh, Mr. DeFaw again. In the right place. Hard, stepping in the right spot at the right time and, and trying to make a play. Well, that's, that, you know, that's a real the first quality scoring chance the Dragons have had so far. Number 14 for the Dragons is heading to the locker room. Hmm. I wonder if it's a, an equipment issue. Stockwell going to the net. Shot by DeFaw wide of the net. Needed a rebound on that play. Well, Down in deep for Stockwell. He takes an elbow. Usually. Battling along the boards. Finally, a penalty call. Now, usually, uh, with uh, the guy going to locker for the Dragons, if it's a skate issue, Coach Norrington's on his horse to fix the skate. But you're right, Craig, it might be an equipment issue other than his skates. And after getting away with the elbow, number 11 goes to the box on a trip on number 9, Stockwell. And the Clarkston parents are not happy, Craig. Apparently, you can only take so many penalties before they have to call them. Another blown tire at the blue line, and Logan Aldridge has to come up with a huge save. On a clear On a breakaway by number eight, the Clydesdale for Clarkston. Yeah, and that was a clear shot breakaway from the far blue line. Unbelievable. And Nick Dupri back back to the bench for the Dragons. Must have forgot his neck guard, mouth guard, uh, shoelace knob, whatever. <laughs> no, defensive zone faceoff. Uh, once again, the power play is not timed up with the clock because we just ran play at least 20 seconds, and there's still two minutes showing on a penalty clock. Yeah, well, you know, it's amazing. You pay guys to come do this, and they can't get it right, and the volunteers seem to get it right all the time. 14.33 in a period. Uh, it shows two, two minutes on the clock for the power play, but I'm thinking it's probably more like one, uh, 120. 40. Um, Mesta with the puck. Wheels around up through the center ice, and Sidlowski somehow gets a piece of tape on that puck. Too polite out there, the Dragons. Someone I, needs to get the puck. Yeah, as uh, my former. Uh, there's a call. And a Bronx cheer from the Clarkston crowd. 
as Drew Casey goes to the bench on a makeup call for a hooking. Yeah, as my as my uh, former uh, partner down there in the score box, Brian Bogus would say, it would be a polite off, Craig. There you go. Well, I'll tell you, it's it's four on four for some amount of time. We're not sure because the clock operator's having major difficulties today. But um, it's at least a minute, uh, probably a minute 15, I would say, four on four before Clarkson goes to the power play. Yeah, short power play. Nothing else gets call, called. Dragon's got to move the puck faster, Craig. I, I'm kind of a. Another break for Clarkston. They just they just have more energy than the Dragons tonight. Big hit there. Oh my God! To watch these Clarkston parents is just a joy, just a joy for a Lake Orion parent. He wanted a charging call on, on a play where his player put an elbow into the ear of the Dragons player. Yeah, charging call might be the least called call in hockey at any level would be the charging call, Craig. Absolutely. Guywa and Chase uh, Sedlowski steps in as the puck goes to the middle, shoots. Saved by the Clarkston goaltender, square into the belly. Yeah, and I think uh, Ryan didn't realize he had as much time and as much space as he had there, Craig. He had another, he had an availability for another step, step and a half, maybe even two steps in towards the net before he took that shot. We're going to line it up here uh, just to the left of the Clarkston goalminder. And uh, faceoffs won by Clarkston. Um, Mesta stepped in, almost uh, regrouped it. Or, or regain control for the Dragons, but then down in deep into the Dragon zone. Yeah, I'm watching this uh, dra this uh, Clarkston parent here, Craig. I almost think he's in class. He's raised his arm so many times. <laughs> I want to call on him to answer the next question. Here comes uh, Kirshner. He loses the puck in uh, number seven up the right side for Clarkston. Steps to the middle, walks right in and shoots. And uh, Bach is able to block that shot in front of the goaltender, Aldrich. But another dra another Wolf player coming in untouched, unscathed here. This is um, as badly as I've seen the Dragons outskated and outplayed in over a year, um, going back to last season. Um, not seeing any life out of them here in the second period to suggest that they're looking to turn this thing around. No, but they only need one, Craig, and they and might come right might now. Come. Mesta in. Number 16 steps in. The shot just goes wide. Good defensive play by number 16 for Clarkston. Yeah, I think uh, Connor was headed, headed to the bench for a change, and the puck popped right to him, and he was at the end of a shift because he does not normally get beat to the post. No, on he a play was out like of gas, that. and uh, he's got the speed to, to finish that play and just didn't have the gas left in the tank. Chappie throws it down the near side. Puts on the, the four check. The Dragons are, I think everybody's at full strength again. It's hard to tell with the way the clock's been yep, running. Yeah, we're even up five on five, Craig. Bach back on defense with uh, line for the Dragons. And it looked like um, Jordan Strauss might have been shaken up on an earlier play. I'm not sure if he's missing a shift here or if they're just trying to, they need to get the lines back together. Uh, I think he's heading out now. And there he is. Okay, so. Strauss back out with line as uh, Bach goes to the bench, and we've got a whistle. Yeah, it looks like Clarkson's playing like a 2-1-2 four-check system here. They're always putting two guys in deep in the Dragon zone, which is really putting a cramp on the uh, Dragons breakout, not to mention Dragons aren't connecting on the pass they do have. Yeah, they're putting some pressure on that uh, on the back end of the Dragons and forcing the, uh, the difficult pass to break out. Shot misses wide down in behind the Lake Orion goal. Out to center ice now. Stockwell battling with number seven. Gould comes away with it, but then back uh, the Dragons are going to regroup. Uh, Chappie back to line to Strauss up the middle to number seven for Clarkston. Gould steps into number 17 on the near side. And more hands go up on the Clarkston. <laughs> it's always something, stands. you know. Line with the puck, coming out with speed. He's got some room. He's going to move it ahead to Stockwell, and he just dumps it in. He's going to go for a change. Out comes Clarkston with the puck, number 11, Weedman. Interference, but they don't call stepped it. Stepped into by number 19. He throws it along the boards trying to draw the interference call, and the ref's not going to buy it. Boy, 
he got away with having the hands up a little bit there on that hit. Sure did. And around comes Strauss. Tries up the near side and, or the far side and again misses, misfires on the pass. And I'll tell you, passing accuracy has just been absolutely brutal tonight for yeah, the Dragons. They're I'm, getting they're getting killed by these missed passes that are ending up right on the on the tape of Clarkson players. I'm not liking what I'm seeing out of the Dragons. It's uh, you know last night was a big game, but you got to come every night to play. You only play two games a week, so you got to come to play every single night. Well, you know, back to back, yada yada yada, all that good stuff. You're playing for a championship here, and uh, if you if you didn't know any better, you'd think it was the other way around. And Clarkson was playing for the championship. They're playing for pride. They're they're second from last in the division, and they're taking it to the Dragons. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, and and for no reason, they're not they're not overly skilled. They're not that they're not any certainly not better. But tonight they are better, Craig. And where the Dragons were looking, you know, only at last night, not thinking about tonight's game. They're all important, every single one of them. And uh, you got to put a little better effort together. You're a better team. You can score three goals in a period and a half. Well, and I'll tell you, it's there's 9.35 left in the second period. And I, I, I have to believe the Dragons are, have to play with some desperation. And they've got to be desperate to get the next goal. And they're getting beat on every, to every loose puck. Wow. And a hold on Casey after being in a headlock for about 25 seconds. Well, makeup calls, and now he's going to get an unsportsman like that is unfortunate. you got to keep your mouth shut. And a 10-minute misconduct, Craig. You know, I... If I was a ten, he's going to sit out uh, the better part of the rest of this game. And if I was a dad, I'd be saying, you know, the referees need to have a little thicker skin. But you don't know what kind of language uh, Mr. Casey threw at the referee. But well, I'm never a big fan of the of the far blue line referee making a call when the other referee is standing right next to the play and he doesn't make the call. No, absolutely. We saw one of those last night. Uh, one of the worst calls I've seen in in high school hockey in the, in the last five years that I've been watching. And uh, a hit from behind called on a play where it was not a hit from behind and it was called from the other end of the ice. Yeah, that, it happens, but even in this particular instance, the referee was in the corner right next to the, right next to the hold the other referee called from 70 feet away. We've got uh, Kirshner and uh, Mesta on the kill up front for the Dragons with Line and Strauss on the back end. And out comes uh, Gould uh, for Kirshner. Number 12 is able to wind up for a big slap shot just off the right side of the net. Misses wide. And the Dragons try to clear but cannot. Michigan, yeah. Mich and Michigan won the basketball game tonight, Craig. Yeah, I saw that. They were uh, they were up uh, late. Um, they took advantage of the, the injuries uh, to Michigan State, but uh, um, that's a big that's a huge win for Michigan. You think about it. They've they've beaten now three I think three top ten teams in about a week span, which is uh, which is a record for them. And they're a well coached club down there at uh, Michigan for basketball, and they got some good talent. Absolutely. They can put up some points for sure. But it's not March yet, Larry. Absolutely not, Craig. There's a lot of season left. <laughs> Chappie into the corner. Gets a little help in there by number nine, it looks like. Um, and there's it's a three-on-one in the corner for, the, for Clarkston. No, 14 seconds left in the power play. Puck knocked down by a glove out in front and cleared by the Dragons. Five seconds left in the Clarkston power play. Once again, missing an opportunity to play the body. A lot, lot of, going into the corner. A lot of that going on tonight. Steps right out in front, and Aldrich able to make the save. What are we looking at for shots here so far in the second period, Larry? I'm showing eight for Clarkston, four for the Dragons. Wow. We're being doubled up at a power play for, the, for both clubs. 
23 and to 7 overall for the game. That's that is shocking. Now you've got uh, the Kirshner, you got Kirshner out with uh, Stockwell and Defaw with uh, Gronowski and Bach on the back end. Well, if there's ever a time to mix things up for Coach Field, it might be now, Craig. Yeah, absolutely. He's got to find something to give this team life. And with Casey in the box for a while, he's going to have to move those uh, centers around a little bit. Clarkston comes away with the puck, and they walk right in. He's going to go right to the net. Look at this. Stockwell with the puck. Moves it ahead to Defaw down deep in the corner. And Defaw is the only Defaw guy out there. The battle. He's winning races like nobody's business for the, for the Dragons. He keeps today. battling from his knees, from his elbows, doesn't matter. Bach. Defaw's, Defaw's the only Dragon playing a game that mat like it matters tonight, Craig, it appears. I didn't see the hit down there. What uh, what happened down here on the just near a, side? Just a big hit by Defaw and another big hit by Defaw. He is he is trying to get it going. He's trying to get his team going, Craig, and I'm and I'm glad to see that out of him. Absolutely, he's put on some big hits there in that on that shift. Uh, it was a good sequence for number 24. 12 with a shot, steered aside by Aldrich, out ahead to Gaiwa. He's in one on one, takes a shot wide of the net. Sidlowski tries it down in deep for Gaiwa. And it comes out the other side for Clarkston. And the defenseman throws it up into the net, which in the NHL it cost him two minutes, but uh, here in high school we'll just face it off deep in the Clarkston zone. Well you look to, you look to your skill players to step up, make a make a special play here, Craig, and uh, put the puck in the net, make it a two goal game going into the third is what the Dragons gotta hope for. Yeah, absolutely, and Deprye over to Grieve down in the corner now for Brisky. Brisky uh, battling, uh, gets cross-checked in the back and no call. Cross-checked in the back and no call. And he's still down. And he's coming out and they finally clear the zone and uh, try to regroup and out comes Clarkston with the puck. There's a hold that they don't call. And out comes Kirshner. He gets hooked. No call on the hook. And no call Boy, on the slash. They're letting everything go now. And Chappie to the front of the net. And it's covered up by the Clarkston goaltender. Some extracurricular activity after the whistle. <laughs> and uh, the refs are going to step in and do some sort of damage control. Yeah, nifty play by Chappie, and all that was made by the feistiness of Brisky here. And uh, the referee, I, now they, go ahead. I forget the tall guy is the referee's name. He's uh, always one of the first to let the game get out of hand because he thinks he's better than the rest of the world. And for the life of me, his name is, uh, is, is eluding me. Well, you got uh, Defaw, Stockwell, and, and Gould back together here for this faceoff. Gould wins it, but uh, Clarkson player steps in front and he gives it up. Number eight, ridden to the boards by Line. Getting support by uh, Gould up ahead to Stockwell. Tries to clear it ahead to Gould. He does. In for Defaw. Defaw into the corner. Number three uh, for Clarkson steps in. Stockwell tries to play the body and. Clarkson's able to clear the zone. Stockwell and Defaw in on the forecheck. Defaw hits the, his defenseman into the boards. And a the giveaway there by uh, Captain Strauss in the, in the neutral zone. But it has been too many of those in this game. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of giveaways through the neutral zone near the blue lines. Dangerous place. There's another one. Back around for line. He's going to look for Stockwell up ahead. Stockwell with some speed through the neutral zone. He's got to fall with him. He tries a quick shot and it gets deflected up into the netting. And both squads will change. You know what, Craig? This this game is uh, eerily resembled to the uh, senior night last year against uh, University Liggett. Yeah, it really is. Where, where they just look disinterested. Yeah. 
Here comes 12. Almost walks around Gronowski. Uh, surprising that uh, number 21 didn't play the body there. Now he does. Comes away with the puck. Moves it ahead through the neutral or through the middle. And Gaiwa in the neutral zone can't uh, control for the Dragons. I think the Dragons are missing a lot of opportunities to play the body in this game too. They certainly are legitimate opportunities. And they're just giving pucks away, Greg. They just did it again in their own corner. They're getting absolutely zero puck luck at all, and totally getting outworked. And I gotta hand it to Clarkston; they're really good at cross checking. Yeah, but they're they're keeping the same game going, and we got a call on the Dragons here, Sedlowski. Wow! For a hook. Oh, that's horrible! My goodness! A high stick. A high stick. He gets cross checked three times into the boards, and somehow they manage a high stick call on Lake Orion. That is a very questionable call, Larry. Well, I, it's the same referee who's made almost every call tonight, and uh, you know you need to make you need to make calls, but you need to make proper calls and make you know. <laughs> I've never been a fan of his refing prowess. I I wish I could uh, remember his name so I could call him out on on the air here, but I don't. Right. Well, and to be fair, the the officiating is is uh, been. Uh, questionable and, and erratic since the drop of the puck in the beginning of the game. Uh, a penalty called early in the first couple, first minute against uh, Clarkston, and it's been a mess ever since. Yep, I would tend to agree with you. And what happens then is, is all of this stuff that gets let go creates this angst and animosity, and before you know it, guys are retaliating and going after each other, and you got to you got a bit of a mess on your hands. But they're not calling those either. They're calling, I don't even see some of the calls they're making. I definitely see the ones they're missing. And they're missing them for both teams. It's not just the Dragons missing them. They're missing them for both. Yeah, Kirshner and Chappie on the kill for the Dragons with uh, well, and, they, and, and an interference call check from right behind, head boards. check. And it wasn't a cross check, but we'll we'll take it. Strauss is taking a pretty good beating tonight. Yeah, that was that's a borderline dirty play right there, Larry. You see a player that's uh, vulnerable and, uh, you know, a gentleman, uh, and, you know, a grown-up pulls up on that play and, and doesn't try to drive the kid's head into the board. So, obviously, they, uh, they're they looking at it a little bit differently from Clarkston's side and looking to uh, send a message whenever they have an opportunity. Yep, and that's uh, Mr. Gentile with his second uh, penalty that was just uh, same type of play. A good, good rip from the blue line for the Dragons by Dupri, number 14, on an even strength four on four situation. No traffic. The Dragons in front. Uh, will have a short power play once uh, Mr. Sidlowski's out of the net or out of the uh, box. Another, another good play by the Dragons there. Another good play and a good save by the the Clarkston goaltender's been been solid tonight. Um, yeah. Kind of surprising with the number of goals they've given up. They've given up, coming into this game, they've given up 14 goals in the last two games. Well, Dragons haven't had 14 shots, so they certainly can't score 14 goals. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, definitely need to get some pressure on this goaltender. 21 coming through with speed, chipped away by the goaltender, Aldrich with a good And a late play. Nick Balovich hit there uh, by yeah. number 21. It's surprising when they let them, they leave their feet, they throw their elbow into the player's ear and they let that kind of stuff go. Well, when he when he hit the Dragon player, the puck was already at the other end being called for an icing. Number 11 with the puck for Clarkston in the corner. Depry bothering him. But they're able to control. Clarkston, or number 11, tries to move it to number 10 and can't control it. Out come the Dragons. Grieve with the puck up the near side, throws it in deep. Got uh, Gould and Chappie out there in chase. I Chappie didn't, at center ice. Throws I didn't it even back know in. what that play was by the Dragon and defender. They're change. Kirshner off onto the ice with. Um, Looks like uh, Gaiwa puck in deep for Clarkston again. I got to tell you, my prediction about the play in number seven is coming through. He's played a really strong game for the Wolves. Yeah, he has. 
Grebe regroups for the Dragons, tries the near side for Dupri. Far side to Gaiwa, through the neutral zone, ahead to Sidlowski, tries it back to him, but number 12 steps in front for Clarkston. Now the Dragons on a power play here for about 25 more seconds. Puck goes in deep, but no control for the Dragons. Sidlowski comes away with it, walks to the front, up to the point. Line's going to shoot. Gets blocked in front. Over to Mesta. Throws it in deep. Nice block by Clarkston there. Out the near side. Line's going to step in. Keeps it in deep. And the penalty expires here. Both teams are at even strength. Mesta with a quick shot up into the netting. Just got deflected up into the netting by a Clarkston stick. And uh, albeit a short power play, uh, maybe the best sustained pressure by the Dragons all night, but they're unable to get uh, any real dangerous uh, opportunities on that. I would tend to agree. Power play. Would tend to agree with you, Craig. That was the best, uh, really the best shift for the Dragons of the night in the last 50 seconds here. Got the 9-11-24 line. Defaw down around, tries it around for Stockwell up the near side. Grebe holds it in to the net, bouncing puck near side. Nobody Defaw home. tries it to the middle and. Line's able to hold it in. Quick shot, bouncing puck over to the middle. Great pass by Defaw. And the goaltender somehow manages to lay on top of the puck. Great play by the Dragons. They, maybe they're coming alive, uh, trying to get back, fight their way, claw their way back into this one, Larry. Yep, and we got great play, great keep in by, uh, by Line there on the point. And just a couple beautiful little passes. I'm not sure it was a shot on goal, but... Uh, the Clarkston goalie was sprawling all over the place to keep the puck out of the net. Well, I got to tell you, just uh, the way this thing uh, is shaking out, uh, if, the, if the Dragons are able to... Wow, that, what do we got going on here? Well, that was what you called that was the worst missed You, call you basically it. have the Clarkston player covering the puck with his hand, closing his hand on the puck and no call. And then they got some unsportsmanlike play out here by Clarkston, but they're going to let that go as well. And they just and they just just gave Defaw a penalty for mouthing off, and uh, well, that's a bit of a mess. Oh, this well, is, this and is that, ridiculous. That, that, that's the end of the second period. And uh, again, it's it's three to nothing. The score remains three to nothing. Clarkston, uh, a whole lot of uh, bad blood between these two teams. It's starting to exhibit itself with stuff after the whistle, a lot of jawing, a lot of talking. And uh, unfortunately, Mr. Defaw uh, did not contain his, uh, his angst, and it's going to cost him a two-minute penalty and a uh, shorthanded situation to start the third. So yeah, the end I of two um, periods of play, uh, shots on goal, um, heavily in favor of uh, Clarkston. Is that a one period? Is that two period total? Two period total, 25. Two period total, of I'm sorry, go ahead, Larry. Two period total of 25. Clarkston at 10 in the second period. Two period total at 10 for the Dragons, who have seven in the second period. Being outshot more two and a half to one, Craig. Well, folks, we, we saw the energy level pick up, and uh, hopefully the Dragons are able to turn that into some offense here in the third. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be right back on ONTV for third period coverage of Lake Orion Dragons varsity hockey. We're here at Scalneck Ford, early drop-off point for donations. Make sure you peel rubber into the 5 or 5 food drive on February 8th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We want a habitat home. I love working on my habitat home. Soy dueño de una casa de habitat. My neighbor is a habitat homeowner. Being a habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for habitat is less than what I paid for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. Well, welcome back to third period Rock'em Sock'em Robot Action here at Detroit Skating Club. Larry, uh, I think we know what the situation is. The Dragons are shorthanded here to start uh, the third period for two minutes and they really need to get something going offensively down 3-0 uh, in this hockey game. They sure do, Craig, and they got it's going to be a tough uh, tough road to hoe here, starting shorthanded for the first two minutes, but uh, first and foremost, keep Clarkston off the board, 
and uh, put the puck in the net quick after the power play for the Clarkston Wolves. Well, the Dragons have their top penalty kill line out with uh, Gould and Mesta along with uh, Strauss and Lyon on the back end. Strauss tries it up the near side and it gets through. Mesta and Chase bothering number 11. He's able to move it ahead to number eight for the Wolves. They throw it in deep. Up the near boards uh, by Strauss to Mesta back again. Tries it again and Mesta's gonna not be able to clear it. Uh, get it past that big body at number eight. And it is a big body. We've mentioned that earlier today. And this time Mesta is able to clear after a uh, little pinball action. Twenty-one forcing line at the puck, and uh, Kirshner is able to clear it down the length of the ice. Uh, minute thirty-five. Uh, Where the, the, left, these guys cannot the, get the, the clock still not in alignment. The, the guy's a joke. The, these clock operators are 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 a joke. There should be 48 seconds left in this penalty, not a minute 23. And there is. He just mentioned it on the uh, loudspeaker, Craig, but th this guy's over his head. I think he needs to uh, call out some uh, more reliable troops. It's a brand-new clock. We know there's no clock problems here at DSC, and these guys just can't seem to get it right. Yeah, I don't understand how, they, how you messed that one up. He must not have hit the enter button uh, again to set that penalty. Well, it's a new clock. I'm not familiar with it, but I'm pretty sure it's not rocket science. Number nine for Clarkston throws a shot, big rebound. Oh, what a lucky and he play hits there! Post. Logan Aldrich trying to find the cage. Clarkston to the middle, and Chappie clears. One second left on the power play here, and here we go. Dragons back to full strength. Dragons back to full strength. Sidlowski steps into a bus, and the number nine runs him over. Back around near side, Mesta. And there's a slash. Drives it up ahead. There's Gets interference. Into. We got all kinds of fun stuff going on here. Sidlowski in. He shoots just wide to the right of the goaltender. He had him beat. He knew where he wanted to go, but he just missed the cage. Clarkson with the puck. Moves it out, move it out ahead. Intercepted by Grebe. Throws it in deep for the Dragons. Guywa and Chase going after number seven. He's able to clear it up the near side. Mesta steps in. And uh, Guywa puts a body on somebody. Number 17 now with the puck for Clarkston. Oh, and a fortunate bounce. Dangerous play. And uh, Logan Aldrich able to make the play. And a whole lot of extracurricular activity let go by the ref. Behind the net as the Clarkston player hauls down a dragon with both legs after the whistle and no call. Well, Craig, I'm not surprised. The referee behind the net. He's the referee who hasn't made a call all night, and there's no reason to believe he's going to start here in the third. No doubt. We've got a uh, defensive zone faceoff just to the left of the – and we're going to oh, – we've got a bird flying around in the in the rink here, Larry. <laughs> yeah, well. And the ref was distracted enough. He's going to not allow the uh, last change there by the uh, Dragons, which – Looks to be in accordance with the rules. Which he has allowed all night tonight until now, Craig. And face off one by Sidlowski. Up the near side. Aldrich able to cover up. I'm not sure he saw that puck when it was shot, Larry, but he was able to get it get a pad off down. the pad and, yeah, it was and good. cover that thing up. A nice deflection by Clarkson, but Orion won the draw cleanly. Made a nice pass behind the net and then gave the puck away. Uh, so the same recipe that been happening all night. I don't understand it. I haven't seen him play like this all year. I got to tell you, they, they look a little disheveled. I mean, even the line changes, they don't know who's coming out on the next uh, shift, which is pretty unlike the, the Dragons. So hopefully they can get that straightened out. You got 13.58 left to play in this hockey game, and the Dragons need to put something up on the scoreboard. It's a 3-0 Clarkston lead. Uh, Majority of the play in the the Dragons defensive zone, and and we've got another faceoff here just to the left of uh, Aldrich. Faceoff won by the Dragons, kicked ahead. Uh, Sidlowski in behind the Clarkson defense, but he can't come away with the puck. Yeah, Ryan needs to be stronger on that puck, Craig. And a penalty coming up to Ryan Sidlowski. 
for a slash. And the same referee has made the same call, made the calls all night long. I think his whistle might, he might need a new P in his whistle. He's been blowing it so many times. Wow. Horrible. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, the referees, uh, and it's the same ref, Larry. I'm not sure the other guy's blown his whistle yet. He has not blown his whistle, Craig, at all tonight. And uh, I, I've, this referee has been ref in our games for years. He wants to become the game, and that's, that's a problem. That is a problem. Well, another penalty kill now for the Dragons, and it's really difficult to come back when you're constantly killing off penalties. Line steps into number 23, and it looks like the Dragons might be stepping up the physical play here. Well, it doesn't really make any difference because they're going to get called for whatever they do anyway. That's uh, delayed offsides, and the Dragons are going to be able to kill some time here. they no. got to be thinking about some offense, though. Uh, line had an hour. He could have held on to that puck until he had pressure. Never should have iced the puck there, Craig. They get a minute. I think there's a minute eight left in the penalty to Sidlowski, but I'm not sure if the clock's accurate. Can't um, be sure. Get your head up. Mr. The name. Uh, and the, Kirshner you know, just almost got stepped into by a moving locomotive. Well, Chappie just got upended in the middle of the rink by a Clarkson player with no call. I mean, I don't know what these guys are watching tonight, but they're missing calls from both sides. But that was clearly an interference by the Clarkston Wolves to take Chappie out of the play. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, and really, the uh, it's fortunate for Kirshner that the Clarkston player misfired on that uh, run that he took at him at the, at the blue line there because it could have been ugly. I would tend to agree with you on that one, Craig, for sure. Depry in the corner trying to gain possession for the Dragons, but Clarkson's able to control. Number 21 in the in 12, battling with Depry in the corner. Out comes Clarkson with a puck, quick shot. Love save by Logan Aldridge. 24 seconds left in the two minute minor to Sidlowski. And 12-10 uh, left in the hockey game. And uh, Dragons are really trying to get on track here in the third period. Well, Another Craig, quick shot. Well, Craig, we haven't referred to our kids much, but I can tell you, last night in Dillon's game up in beautiful, sunny, well, let's change that, 40 below zero, Kirkland Lake, Ontario. His team was clearly outplayed down 2 to nothing with 6.48 left and scored four unanswered goals in the last 6.48 to win the game 4-2. to two. So anything can happen. Absolutely. Uh, the puck moved ahead by uh, Mesta. Gould can't gather it, and they're going to set up to try to kill the last five seconds of this power play. 18 ahead for Clarkson. He throws it into the corner as he missed wide of the net on the shot. And the puck comes out for the Dragons. And the official gets in the way of of uh, the Dragon player, number 22, Mesta, which would have been a clear two-on-one for the Dragons. Guywa with the puck over to Sidlowski. Sidlowski cuts to the middle, walks in, tries to get around. A good defensive play by Clarkston. Over to Depry, throws it back in deep for Sidlowski, and he's got a stick in his ribs. Up around his head, ribs, you name it, it was Up there. Ahead to Depry, back to Kirshner, steps into the Clarkston player, and the Clarkston parents' hands go straight up in the air. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been a steady shuttle of the penalty box for the Dragons, and these Clarkston parents still aren't happy. Yeah, I can't imagine complaining with the calls they've gotten in this uh, second two-thirds of this hockey game. Well, inside 11 minutes to play, and the Dragons are still trying to gain control of the puck. At the end of the day, all the... Penalties and calls and no calls and questionable calls and everything else aside, uh, they've just been thoroughly outplayed in this hockey game. I would tend to agree with you, Craig. I don't think the Dragons have played well at all. But, uh, you know, there's still time left. Dragons are a good club. They know how to put the puck in the net. And there's a call. Hey, look at that. The little referee made a call. Wow, he found his right arm. How about that? That's and not the right arm goes up. He blows the whistle. He does it just like you do in the textbook. And he's going to call a trip. So uh, number uh, nine, the uh, Freightliner out of uh, Clarkston. Yeah, and 
<laughs> we are pretty excited to see that uh, Mr. Roman, Roman Rayner going to the box number nine. Like you said, the guy is a freight train, a big fella. And uh, right here is where the Dragons can turn the table. Pop one in. Let's assume that we can get, uh, get our players on their feet when they come over the boards. Yeah, I mean, you got on the power play, you've got Gould, Stockwell, Defaw up front with uh, Greeb and Nesta on the back end. Stockwell chasing number 11. He's going to regroup and kill some more time on this penalty kill for Clarkston. Nesta with the puck. Sets up for the Dragons. Out he comes. Tries it over, gets deflected up the middle. DeFoss steps in, makes a nice play, and here comes Gould. Steps in, he shoots just wide of the net. Dangerous play. And the Dragons, uh, they're certainly uh, getting some good work out of this group, but uh, need to just settle it down a little bit and get a little bit more control of the puck. Mesta throws it ahead, gets uh, interfered with. and uh, got a roughing penalty on Clarkson there's here, There's going to be Greg. a call. Give him the puck is what, what Mr. Lyons got to do. Give him the puck. Delayed call, minute left in the first period. Uh, you got six on four going. They don't want the puck. So the Dragons are going to set up. The fall with the puck. Down in deep. They, I think they want to make that ref hold his arm up longer. Stockwell with the puck down in the corner. Kicks it in deep for Sidlowski. Sidlowski back for Kirshner. Out in front. Oh, and a... Dragon stick went up. I thought it might have found the back of the net somehow, but yeah, uh, and that wasn't even that wasn't even shot on goal. It came from behind the net. So where the dragon should have just thrown the puck at the net or given it to a Clarkston player, you know the referees will blow the whistle if it goes to a Clarkston player and he doesn't play it. So the dragons more or less squandered 25 seconds of a five on three by not giving Clarkston the puck, which I don't well, understand. Well, certainly if you're not going to set up with that six on four and take advantage of it, right? Um, yes. But you're on a five on three for 35 seconds now. Kirshner throws it back in deep. I would have liked to have seen him go to the point there. Up up to Strauss, over to the line. Strauss going to shoot. Glove save. Well, the, the, the thing about the five on three that's um, interesting is it's there's a balance to it because you have to be patient enough to, to get a, the right chance. A, a quality chance, but you have to be aggressive enough to take the chance when it's there. Face off win by the Dragons. Over to line. Over to Strauss. He walks in. Over to line. Steps in. Shoots over the net. Just wide of the, over the net. Over the net. He's wide. Down in deep, nine seconds left in the five on three. He ste steps in again, loose puck. Oh, and he shoots it wide of the net. A slam dunk off the left side. By Sidlowski. Mr. Kirshner, and he oh, just misses Kirchner. it wide. Puck comes out, and Sidlowski's having all kinds of problems with And they the don't skates. call the slash there, Craig. Another one they don't call. This is just a beautiful stick work uh, by the Clarkson Wolves tonight. Kirshner ahead to... Uh, Strauss tries to throw it in deep. Kirshner comes away with it. Another high shot. They've got to get these shots down, Larry. I can't imagine the number of shots that the Dragons have had that uh, are going over the net, Craig. And another BC two-hander. Sidlowski with the puck, circling. Up ahead the line, over to Strauss. Going to shoot. Just another wide. high and wide, high, high and wide, wide, high and wide. Got to get these shots down and on net. And out it comes. You know, I don't know um, if uh, Drew Casey has been sat down. He is not. I haven't seen him since he served his 10 minutes. Oh, I haven't either, conduct. Craig. You're absolutely right. And that's going to do it for the power play for the Dragons. And really nothing uh, other than a bunch of shots that missed the net wildly. Not a whole lot there for the Dragons. Defaw tries a shot. Stockwell in behind the net. Over to uh, Chappie. Can't handle it. Well, I got to tell you, Buck Craig. Out. I got to believe Drew Casey's hurt. Pass because, over to Defaw. Uh, I'm sorry. Nick, Coach Field is not one for... Uh, 
player accountability on stuff like that where he's going to sit a guy for making a verbal foray to the referee. I, I'd be very surprised if it's disciplinary that he's uh, sitting on the bench, Craig. Well, let's hope that's uh, not the case. Um, he's definitely a critical component to this team. So hopefully he's in, uh, he's in good health and maybe he's just uh, learning a tough lesson. In the doghouse. But that doghouse for Coach Fields never been a long doghouse. You know, Chappie wins the faceoff, but the shot doesn't get through by Bach. Clarkson's doing everything Number right tonight, Craig. I got He's in. He I got to tell you. Five-hole goal. Goes gotta, right between both defensemen, and nobody puts a body on him. I got to tell you, though, Craig, Clarkson's doing everything right. Dragons are doing nothing right, it appears. Uh, the player blocks the shot. They blocked half a dozen shots tonight, and what they haven't blocked, the Dragons have shot over the, over the net or wider than that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is this is a game where, quite honestly, the Clarkson Wolves are the clearly the better team. They got a better game plan. They're playing with more emotion, and uh, they want it. You know, they want it more. I hate yeah. to say that because I'm never one to say that your team doesn't want to win. But absolutely, uh, certainly getting out competed. There's no doubt about it. Kirshner is in. Shoots. Steered aside by the goaltender. And their goalie's been good when he's had to be good, Craig. He's made the saves that he should make. Yep, absolutely. Mesta steps into his player. Half-heartedly, though, Craig, half-heartedly. Moved ahead by Depry, and the puck is the pass not caught on the far side by Brisky. And this is a Puck's set. dumped in deep. Now and the Clarkson guys are hitting each other. Yeah, and it's kind of a sad state of affairs. The Orion student body starting to bail on their club here early. And uh, it, you don't usually see that. No. Five minutes to play. It's a 4 nothing hockey game. And uh, not a whole lot of life in these Dragons. Wow, 21 just took two or three roundhouse punches at uh, number 23, Kirshner. And they're going to send them both. Yeah, one well. for punching and the other one for getting hit, apparently. It's all right. It, it probably wasn't running most of the time anyway. <laughs> I'm telling you, Craig, these guys, you know. The, the Clock is running past the whistle. There's a lot of, there are a lot of people a little upset tonight, especially on the, on the Dragon side. Um, thoroughly disappointed, I'm sure, in their, in their team's effort. And uh, just, uh, Clearly being agitated by uh, the way this game's going. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, and the Clarks has got a penalty right off the draw, Craig. And it was a total cheap shot and a punk move by number 12. I didn't see it, um, Craig, so I was uh, Weed Weedman. You'd expect a player that, that uh, is that important offensively to have a better grasp of what's right and wrong and not take a stupid penalty like that by punching the other center in the face when the puck drops. Well, 12 is not Wiedemann. I think 12 is uh, Carter Ray. Oh, I'm sorry. Chase oh. Wiedemann's not that kind of player. My, my first, apologies. First mistake you ever made. My apologies. Surprise nonetheless. Right on. Well, Mike maybe. steps in, takes hey. a shot wide and, of the net. And misses the net again. Line coming back to gather the puck for the Dragons. There you go. There's a hit. What's wrong with that hit, Larry? Well, I would say the only thing wrong with that hit, Craig, was he had his hands up at his head. He's going to call him at an elbow. It was a solid body check. It was probably a little high. That's a bad call. I agree it's a bad call, but they're going to call that every time. That's because a bad it, call. Because the player doesn't get up. And, and take it from a guy who knows when it's the biggest guy hitting the littlest guy or hitting the smaller guy, they're going to get that call. Well, I think the Clarkson player took a page out of uh, Canada Hockey uh, Playbook 101, and that is lay on the ice until the ref makes a call. Yeah, I would tend to agree with you. If the longer you lay, the longer they suspend the player. <laughs> 4.33 to play. Um, and I'm not sure what the penalty situation is because I don't know what these clock guys are doing. So there's a minute 32 showing on the the two-minute 
Miner to number 12, uh, Ray. And uh, there will be two minutes going up here for uh, Lake Orion for the uh, elbow call on what looked like a pretty clean hit to me other than the fact that uh, you're right, he probably finished a little bit high. Um, but he's a big fella. Where do you, where yeah, else do you finish? Guy. You know, unless you. I didn't think he extended his arms. I really didn't see an elbow come up. I think that's a. I think it was a good check. And it made a lot of noise. Boards. Made a lot of noise yeah. in an emotional game where it was getting out of hand. So he called it just to keep the game cleaned up. Well, and he probably startled the little ref because he's uh, been half asleep in this game and he's only made one other call uh, <laughs> that was incredibly <laughs> obvious. <laughs> As we call him, the little ref. We got a, we got a big ref. We got a little ref. I, I couldn't believe how fast that right arm went up when he heard that loud noise. Yeah. Maybe it was both arms and he was scared, almost as if he called a field goal. Well, these games, though, are, are truly frustrating to me, Larry, because I think, and this is all in all seriousness, uh, all seriosity, <laughs> I, um, I think I'm being fair and honest here. Clarkston had a game plan. They came out. They they absolutely were going to play physical. They're going to play fast, and they're going to play chippy. And, and to me, on the verge of, of dirty play in a lot of ways, they they used their sticks a lot. They were they were uh, uh, numerous cross checks that were not called. A lot of a lot of agitation type plays to get under the skin of the dragons. And it worked. And it's worked. It's worked for them. Uh, it's it's kind of like St. Clair Shores hockey. That's what I'm used to <laughs> well, when I there you go. when I see St. Clair Shores. And and the dragons and the and the dragons just aren't into it. No. You know they didn't fight. No, unfortunately, they, they didn't fight back. No, they backed down. Uh, and and when they have fought back, it's been after, it's been it's been the wrong way. It's been, uh, you know, with sticks. It's been late. It's been after the whistle. It's been with their mouths. They end up with the with. Uh, you know, some bad some bad uh, penalties as far as misconducts and whatnot. Well, let's get this last five minutes over, and they just miss another high stick by Clarkston as he whacks Grebe in the top of the head. And Grebe might have got away with a little bit of an interference there, but it was a nice play to, to be physical, and he did it, did it at the right time, made a good physical play on number 11. He steps in for another shot on goal against the Dragons. Another save by Logan Aldridge. You can't complain about your goaltending tonight. I think there was you know, the second goal might have been a little bit weak, but outside of that, he's been uh, pretty solid. Very solid. Very solid. Wow. Well, they're hitting everything that moves and everything that doesn't move because they just the about net. kicked the heck out of the cage there on that play. Well, and it was going to land right back where it started, but their guy put their defenseman number 16 pushed it right off the uh, pegs, Craig. Absolutely, 3.50 to play, 4 nothing. Clarkston. Um, all kinds of penalties on the board. Uh, four on four hockey here for another 50 seconds. We hope, we think. Unless uh, unless there are more loud noises. Well, we, we're not sure the clock is correct, Greg. That's the other issue. No, that's a good point. We need to get this game done. And yeah, another whistle. Well, 3.37 to play. Um, and Mr. Casey is back out on the ice for the Dragons. Wins took, the faceoff back. Took a little while. Um, number six, Bach over to uh, Gronowski. Throws it ahead to the neutral zone. He probably got some good legs, Craig. Well, I'll tell you, the, um, wow, another oh penalty call. Oh, my goodness. Another penalty call. He gets on the ice. He checks a guy, and he gets a penalty for checking the guy. Unreal. Uh, I can't wait to see what the call is. Oh, it's going to be a rough is what it's going to be. I can see it now. And it's a roughing penalty, which is an absolutely horrific call. You know, he's always – I just can't remember what his name is. I just wish well, I did. If, if, if the coaches have an opportunity to evaluate the refs, they really need to send in an evaluation on this guy because uh, he has no business calling high school hockey games in my estimation. I've, I've never seen a, a more over-involved ref in my entire life watching hockey. And he wants to be involved, and it's always how he's been. I Let's just see. can't, for the life of me, I can't remember his name to call him out. And That's going to be a five-on-three for Clarkston. 
Stockwell to Pry and Grieve on the kill for the Dragons. No call as uh, Depry gets taken hard into the boards. I'm almost fine with that, Craig, because the game will be over faster. Dragons are going to get another player back, and it's a five on four as line goes all the way over to the bench while the puck's in the defensive zone. Great coaching and out there. Comes Mesta. Why would he go to the bench, Craig, in a yeah. five on three? I don't know. That's that was very shocking to me. Stockwell tries to step up, but just can't poke it away. It's back in deep for Clarkston. Number eight moves it over to 11, winds up, high slap shot, which seems to be the order of the day. Especially if you're wearing, the black, left. If you're wearing the black uniforms. A minute left on the power play, barring any other phantom penalty calls. Well, the ref got a break today that we were calling the game because I have a feeling I might have had some other words to share with him if I was just in the stands tonight. I would tend to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you said it all right there. Eight walks in, fires a shot, steered aside by Aldridge. Mesta moves the puck ahead. Tough to believe the Dragons are 14-2-1, Craig. Nice glove save on a... Slap shot. Watch, Absolutely. This, watching this, this is, game, I'm going. Really? Because in 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 fairness, their previous 17 games they've been above but, average to fantastic. Because even in their their two losses, previous losses in the tie last night, they played very very good solid team hockey, and uh, just fell short in a, co a couple of uh, games. This game they've really looked. Um, almost disinterested at times. Wow, another call. By the same referee, Craig. It's just, you know, like you're saying, if, if I didn't have the headset on, it'd be amazing what I'd be yelling because I think his pee on his whistle is broken. It's I'm gotta be worn, It's got to be worn out. I'm embarrassed for him. I don't know what the rule is in high school. In USA hockey, 15 penalties gets the coach a suspension. they got to be over 15. It's the same in... Uh, it's the same here. You know, this is where this is where the referee's supposed to look at the scorebook and uh, not call any more penalties so the coach doesn't get suspended. Drill him. I don't think it's 15, but it's got to be close, Craig. Minute left. Minute left in the game, and uh, five on four now as uh, the Dragons get a player back. And that's not interference. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even make any difference now. I mean, we kind of just want this broadcast, this game to end. Wow, we almost, and the Dragons almost put it in their own net. <laughs> uh, you know, when it's going bad, it's going bad. Twenty-five seconds left to go in this in this effort by the Dragons, which we won't talk much about after the game. No. 15 seconds left. Puck gets thrown down on the Clarkston goalie, and this one's going to end 4-0, Clarkston. And as much as I'd like to give a, a gold star to the Clarkston goalie, Craig, the poor guy faced 12 shots tonight. Yeah, it's tough. Well, there you go, Lake Orion. Uh, unfortunately, uh, less than stellar performance by your Dragons, and they take one on the chin tonight. Final score at Detroit Skating Club. Uh, Clarkston four, Lake Orion Dragons nothing. And we're back uh, here next Thursday, Larry, for our final broadcast of the season against the Northville Mustangs. And uh, hopefully we uh, have uh, much better fortunes next week. The final shots on goal, 36 to 12, tripled up by the Crosstown rival Wolves. Uh, and there you go. That, right. that's, that's it from Detroit Skating Club. Signing off, Craig Stockwell, Larry Rosen. Have a great weekend, folks. Good night, Lake Orion.